Hey everybody, Steven Zerudi here for my last review ever on this show. I know it's sad, but every volunteer must graduate from college and go on to bigger and better things. But dry your eyes, because we're moving on to the review. It's taken me four years to beat this game, and in the end you always want to go back and do it over again. What game am I talking about? It's Video Game Hour Live. Yes, my last review is about the show I've worked on, the show you're watching right now. So what's the story of Video Game Hour Live? It actually meshes very closely with its design. Technically, this show, or game, came out in 1998 as GoldenEye Hour Live, and it was a group of TSTVers from the show Campus Loop coming up to the studio and deciding to air them playing GoldenEye on TV for an hour. Live. Every week. The show went through some different iterations and formats over the years, and in 2006 it became the VGHL you know today. Carlos and Octavio Corral gave their previously all-live show a new design with a taped portion featuring reviews, trailers, and new segments. They brought on the familiar green couches and brick flats to the set as well. Then a couple years later, in 2008, I joined the show. On my very first time volunteering, I got to run tech board for a live broadcast, and of course we played Star Wars The Force Unleashed that episode, and I was hooked. The entertainment director at the time, Lauren Grush, soon made me a producer of the show in the spring of 2009, and the new team running VJHL brought character, structure, explosions, and even girls to the show. Leah Quayle was the first recurring female host, and that became a staple part of the show as more and more girls joined each season. Presentation for this game show hybrid started rough. After our first semester producing the show, we decided to update the look of the show with new graphics. The team designed and animated a Tetris-themed set of graphics to replace the flat, purpley ones from before. New lower thirds, new logos, and new final scores came about. Big improvement, I'd say. Yep, big improvement. And the team implemented those improvements just in time for the move to the dark, dark place known as Walter Webb Hall. The new graphics and now skilled producers were able to hide the fact that our lovely studio had been replaced by a cheap black curtain and a musty meeting room. A very big feat for their presentation. The journey of VGHL brought the crew back to a renovated studio and the show prospered. New volunteers would come on, producers would get replaced, and volunteers would graduate. But the show became too powerful even for itself. The show's success spawned a Star Wars themed episode and a VGHL antic themed spin-off soon after, Combo Breakers, which even starred some of the members of Video Game Hour Live. In 2011, the TSM board elected me to be the station manager of this here television station, and while I couldn't be as involved with the show as I'd like anymore, I watched the team roll into more and more success with VGHL. They began hosting tournaments and sponsors for the show, and the story doesn't end per se, but as I leave here, I know Video Game Hour Live will continue to improve and bring in more success for everyone involved with it. However, the story does tug at the heartstrings too. In 2009, the show suffered a serious loss of a most valuable volunteer, and this loss is echoed in every episode and iteration of the show since. The lovely set piece, our beloved Game Boy, mysteriously disappeared in November of 2009, and the powers that be never explained the mystery behind why he left and where he went to. This gamer hopes Game Boy is off somewhere else, making some other TV show very happy. You will be missed. On to gameplay. This show is in a sense very much like playing a game. Obviously playing video games is part of the work, but beyond that, the show itself is fun. The group is more than just a crew, but we're a tight friendship that bonds us all together. The camaraderie here between our volunteers makes it a rewarding experience for the player and really draws them deeper into the game, or, or show. There's hidden levels of rock band marathons, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and late night pizza runs going on every week in this show. Replay value is a tough one though for this game. While you get to revisit this show every week, once you're done working on it, you're done for good. Your only experience after graduating can be just watching the show. And that's when you'll wish you can go back, reset your save file, and start the journey over from scratch with all the knowledge you've accumulated over your years with the show. But the beauty of the show is that it has taught you so much. And I know that that knowledge will pay off for me after I graduate. So while you can't go back and restart this game, each and every volunteer gets to use their favorite VGHL skills in their own unique sequel and it's called The Real World. These skills and friends I've made along the journey will make me excel in life, and every volunteer who stuck with the show till graduation will have a similar yet unique experience. On to the breakdown. Story gets a 10. The dynasty of the show is an epic history, and the story will continue to develop and improve in the years to come. Design gets a 10. While we all love playing video games for an hour live, in my opinion, it's the tape segment from 2006 that really informs the viewers, and where else are you going to get better, more honest reviews and previews of your favorite video games? Gameplay gets a 10 as well. What other game or show can make work so fun every week, and where else can you enjoy hanging out with your coworkers this much? Presentation is a 10 too. It started off rocky with cheap 90s graphics, and even though those purpley ones weren't that great either, 
but the classic look of the Tetris blocks look cool and mess with the spirit of the show, giving it a much needed improvement. And I may be tooting my own horn a bit on this because I did animate those new graphics. And finally, replay value. I'm making an exception with this one since you can't per se play the journey a second time. But all those late hours editing the show, coming up with a cohesive rundown, and organizing the team together for shows, tournaments, sponsors, and so on, will come handy in life. And as we all graduate and use those skills in real life, for a short time, it'll feel like we're back on the show again, using those same skills again here. Overall, I give my time here at Video Game Hour Live a perfect 10 out of 10. I couldn't have asked for a more fun show or better friends than the one that I've made here. And I look forward to seeing what they come up with here after I leave. It's been a great four years, guys. Thank you.